driving to and from uh, someone's house today, I fell in danger for almost the entire period. <laughs> People were driving crazy. Yes. And there's so much traffic. Oh, I, I'm like, where did all these people yes. manifest from? Like, Absolutely. What hole in the ground do you dig out of, like, specifically for, like, the holiday season? <laughs> mm, I heard that, too. Oh, don't like that. Okay, I need to apply moisturizer to his face. Hello. A wild husband has appeared. Hi, Chris. Oh, who's being naughty? Everyone, everyone being naughty. Oh, okay. <sighs> That's okay. I wanted to go down the hall anyway. Sure, cut. I didn't want to do a slip and slide down the hallway, but I wanted to go down the hallway. It's the loop that we put out for the demon. All right. Oh, Got caught Santa. in our own trap. <laughs> I'm just checking for extra marks, just in case. Santa, you look so... I don't think it's Santa. Good. I think it's the old lady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've but... seen nothing but the old lady. <laughs> but I'm just making sure, because they like to mislead you a lot, you know? Oh. Uh... So... Just make it sure. That's what we got here. Santa is done. We're sorry you fell off the roof, sir. The jiggle. It's visits. awful. I know. <laughs> Hopefully you have a replacement. He's already been trained. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he had backup. Hopefully, you know. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of disappointed boys and girls. Gonna be very disappointed. Alrighty. Any mark? Oh, do you see that? What? There's a the... movement. No, there's a a demon mark here. It's kind of hard to tell. Hold on. Let me see if I can change the graphics a little. I'm gonna change the brightness. Okay. We'll see if that helps. Oh. Uh, she's breathing also, but... Oh, oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, this... this uh, you is this bitch. be the demon. It's oh. this bitch. Yep. Yep. And I'm a burn the witch just to prove it. Gotta cast out the devil. And I believe that is the right sigil. Let me just double check here. It is the right sigil. Yay. Yay. Oh. Yep. Ooh, we are close. Oh. I feel the pressure. I'm not even playing the game. I feel the pressure. Close. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. Wanna bet? Huh. Grandma has jokes. Are you sure this is the right one? Very. Yep. yep. Quite we've, sure. We've got a team of assistants, we're pretty sure. We're gonna close that here because you're not gonna need it. And we're just gonna hit that button there and you have a nice trip. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. And hopefully it, it did trigger when I put the necklace on the father mm. earlier. We'll see. If not, then I'll have to try again. Angry. 
I wish he had a Santa hat. Oh man. Or reindeer oh, antlers. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that one uh, apparition that had the Santa hat, it's like, that's the only one I saw. <gasps> we got it! Yay! We got the closer hey, ending. Mama. Yay! D Dad? I'm here. We need it's to hush, because right. this is going to be heartfelt. You're safe. Oh my god, Dad. Hey, 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 sweetie, it's, it's all right. <laughs> No, no. My little girl, don't do this to yourself. You've suffered enough. If I, if I hadn't been like mom... You're not like her, Rebecca. Your mother. She gave up on life long before she died. What happened to me was the result of choices you should have never been exposed to. You changed your life. And I'm so proud of you. You changed too. Not before I heard you. Sweetie, you can't do this to yourself. Don't remember me like this. I, I don't want to forget you. If you relive that night over and over, you'll only remember pain. The best of me is in you, sweetie. I'm with you forever. I just miss you so much. Every day I just... I don't know where to go without you. Shh, I know. I know it's hard. But you know where to go. You've already found it. Oh. Souls are suffering, Rebecca. But you can help them. You can bring comfort and closure to the living. And let the dead rest. Hmm. Let the dead rest, Rebecca. I love you. Dad. I love that. I love you. Oh, my heart. I wasn't I know. ready for that. <laughs> so that was the best ending. The closer ending. I'm glad we were able to get that. There's just a chance of something showing up for you to be able to get that. So I am very glad that we were able to get that tonight. I was hoping we would. <laughs> yeah. So we will do another round and hopefully get the, excuse me, the basement ending. Uh, <laughs> the ending I'm not looking forward to. Okay. This is going to be probably one of Hurley's favorite endings. So let's hop right into it, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> and we will see the stuff in the basement first. <laughs> uh, oh man, though. I felt that ending so hard. I know, I know. I feel like a lot of people do. Because it's like whenever you lose the loved one, if it's not like a perfect scenario... You tend to find something to blame yourself for and allow yeah. that to take over as the memory rather than the happy memories that you had with the person and just, oh my god. Well, I mean, it's never really an ideal scenario to lose a loved one, regardless. Yeah, yeah but it's like, depending on the circumstance, you know, yeah. a person... Some are harder than others. Yeah, but it's like, you're like, oh, I wish I ha had done this with them. Or there's always some level of regret. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you can't, you can't let that uh, impact you. Just got to focus on the, the happiness they left behind. Double O, double seven. <laughs> double O, 77. <laughs> Let's go ahead and enter that. Okay. Back. And we're going to need... Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so it's 1970 and then 44. Because from the picture and one of the other cutscenes that we had the last time, hmm. you get the numbers. Oh, gotcha. I'm glad you know to pay attention to that. 
I just gotta remember. Man, so after this, we would just need one more ending. And you have completely 100% of the game. Ah, got it. There's apparently a couple of secret endings, I believe. Oh. That we would get achievements for. Hmm. But I'm just curious. <gasps> we got Santa again. Santa! We can embalm Santa Yay! again. <laughs> All right, but first, we're going to go to Alyssa's least favorite place. No! <laughs> no. Yes. That's uh, the hatch key. God damn it. So he's making these things. Hmm. Go. Extra supplies. Uh, no. Are you out there? <gasps> no! Hello. Oh, I knew you'd find me. <laughs> Keith said, face it, baby. <laughs> no! No. I scared them to hear me. <laughs> Language. Oh, look at this. Who are you now? Yes, yes. Look at you, look at you, look at you. Oh, I hate this. Who's Quit looking. Do you see what he's doing? Who could do this to someone? I think you should let me out. You know, demons aren't very good at, like, being low-key. That was not very nice. You'll be here soon. Uh, and her arm is through here. Uh, oh, to bleed into the bucket, I'm assuming? Uh-huh. Oh! So guess what the baleful reagent is? Oh! Yep, and there's another box here. Huh. Just in cases. Huh. There's other things to read down here, too. Just so you know. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to give enough time for people to pause later on when we post them. <laughs> and then there's... This. Man, this guy. He's... Deep in this. Yeah. You find out he's been doing this for the last few years. Hmm. So, that's fun. Real fun. So now you know what's in the basement. Uh. Which is fine. Sure. And we're gonna go with Mr. Eric here. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> You're like just another day on the job. <laughs> Weather outside. And the demons aren't much better. Like, I could picture being a mortician as kind of relaxing if you can get, like, lost in the process and just kind of, like, if you have, like, a specific routine. It's just not not the job itself, but, like, the repetitiveness. Oh, son of a turkey biscuit. What? They changed where everything is again. God! Uh, I wonder why they 
do that. That's kind of a stupid It is thing. stupid. But, uh, just, I, I enjoy jobs where you you can just get lost in the process and put on a, a, a podcast or a YouTube video. <laughs> Shamelessly plugging yourself. It's like, it, if you were to listen to a podcast, it should be one called Horror Movie Tea. <laughs> but, uh, shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, and we will. Oh, excuse you. What? What did you say? There we go. That Ooh. sounded like breathing. Is it the demon already? Do we That'd have our crazy. body already? <gasps> um, Excuse me. Hi. Leg. I don't know why I got a random hiccup. I always. Um, does anyone else get like the random single hiccup and then you're just done? Yeah. <gasps> oh! No, no, you can stay in the basement. Thank you. We no well, longer let me require pick it up. services. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Go, Jesus! Oh! Okay. This is fine. Oh. Totally fine. I just had to tell her no soliciting and it was fine. <gasps> It's like, ma'am, do you have a permit to solicit? Do you have a permit to be on these premises? Yeah, do you have a permit to... This is trespassing, madam. I will call the police if you don't. This is a place of business. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. We're providing a valuable service to the public. And it is an extremely valuable service to the public. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a job that not many can do. Not many are cut out for it, for yeah. sure. But it's definitely important to... It is. ...give people the the respect that they deserve. And the closure that their families need. Definitely. Like, it's, it's a very important job. Yeah. So, for those of you that are... that are in this line of work, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely, 100% thank you. Yes. And I, I know it's it's a fairly thankless job because not everybody's happy to be there. Most people are upset to be there. Yeah, well, and then plus, like, you know, if you tell the everyday person, oh, I'm a mortician, they kind of, like, step back and they're like, what's wrong with you? Uh, like, yeah. why would you want to go into that field? Yeah, and it's it's about bringing closure to people and and bringing peace to the, the ones that have passed, so. I can't use that here. So I have to be up close. But you won't let me be up close. There we go. Okay. Use a loud thing. That was fast. Alright. Restore you in now. Okay. It's nine. Okay. Easy. Mm -hmm. ah. Microscope. Pop, pop, pop. 
Oh, you know what? We don't need that just yet, do we? No, we don't need that just yet. Might be. Okay. Let's go back in here. I would love to know, creating conversation in the chat, if there's anything that you're low-key obsessed with that is kind of strange, or that other people think are strange. Like, for example, my strange obsession, aside from tea, I think that's an obsession that me and Jess both share, but the, the one obsession that I get a lot of weird looks on is uh, I'm really obsessed with pens. Like how smooth Office supplies they write. in general. Office supplies, yeah, because a keyboard, oh, give me a, give me like. Your a, freaking washi tape collection? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I hear judgment in your voice. And, and your I thousands of pens. <laughs> yeah, so I have a lot of pens. Um, I also love. Seriously, a lot. Of I'm pens. also very specific on kidding. my keyboards and my. Mice, and uh, like I either like it super clicky or like completely it has to be silent. Completely silent. No in between, uh -huh. and also the way that the keys click, it just has to be just right. But um, yeah, she's super freaking picky, guys. Yeah, like I would say that my obsession is no, I'm not gonna say it's a fetish because it's not like sexual in any way. But some people wonder about it. <laughs> Oh no. But no, it, no. it is not, it is not sexual in any manner. I just, it just, my brain just really enjoys it. Oh, oh the tension, I hate it. All right. I'm kind of thinking it's you so far, my dude. No. Uh, do you hear her laughing from the basement? Yes. And I don't like it. A lot of stuff's happened with this body so far. Yep. Gotta say, but it's we'll kind of see. sus. It is a little sus. I guess the other thing I'm kind of low-key obsessed with is skincare. Low-key? <laughs> yeah, I do get a very odd enjoyment from skincare, but it's like, I kind of consider that like my self-care. Like, I feel very relaxed after I do it. It's like, I just enjoy the process of touching my face. 